Unlike other in situ technologies, Stellaris Fish is simpler. It has an easy protocol and no exotic reagents. It is faster. One can achieve same day results. It's also more sensitive with a set of up to 48 probes. And lastly, Stellaris Fish is less expensive. One of the primary benefits of Stellaris technology is being able to visualize both the messenger RNA in the cytoplasm as well as the active sites of transcription in the nucleus. And unlike other commercially available RNA hybridization technologies, Solaris Fish does not rely on artificially amplified signal. Solaris probes directly quantify messenger RNA, providing more confidence in one results. One of the potential applications of Stellaris Fish is drug screening. Visualizing up and down regulation of gene expression allows for the rapid and robust approach to screening drugs and cells. Furthermore, one can use Stellaris Fish probes to potentially identify biomarkers in cancer tissue. Stellaris Fish probes can look at the messenger RNA of a specific target gene and see if it correlates with cancer genesis or progression. And lastly, Stellaris Fish can replace northern blotting which is a data technique which merely gives semi-quantitative measurements of messenger RNA levels. Stellaris fish can be combined with existing technologies. For example, Stellaris fish can be combined with immunohistochemistry, whether colorimetric or fluorescent. Stellaris fish can also be combined with western blotting, allowing one to look at gene regulation at both the RNA and protein level. And if one chose to, one can use Stellaris fish probes with qPCR. So after interrogation with Solaris fish probes, one can use qPCR to confirm altered gene expression.